So in the last video, I showed you how you could use a root relative URL, which is a forward slash, to bring you to the top level of the website itself. Uh, and then what you can do is just the path from there to whatever folder. So uh, if I was going to the includes folder, it would be forward slash includes and then whatever was inside of there. But the include path for when you are trying to use um, the PHP function include has to come from server. So we need to figure out where that code is. So uh, fortunately, there is a bit of PHP code here uh, that will uh, give us the path to the full site for this directory. So what we're going to do is I've already saved this to my server. So when I just go to my website and pull that up, what that's going to do is it's going to pull up this uh, this code right here and it's going to tell me that the full path to that directory is and again you can see that's echoed from this right here and then it puts in that variable dir which is the directory name uh, so that this is the full path to my particular website uh, or not to my website but to uh, uh, yeah the the full path to use and include from the top of the server. So it's home slash stoutmartech slash public underscore HTML slash Kevin W. Tharp. Now, if in your mic in my class, it's going to be almost identical, except in this last part, you're probably going to also see users slash and then your name. So what we do with that is I'm going to go back to the file that I was working on a little while ago with the my name two, where we had put uh, the um, the root relative URL to make this hyperlink, but then what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to change this right here. And so uh, actually this goes at the beginning. So I want to add the um, to the front of this, I'm going to add the code that I got the path directories, which is home stoutmartech public underscore dot HTML forward slash Kevin W. Tharp, which is my folder name forward slash uh, and then PHP includes so PHP includes and then name dot PHP and let's see how that goes my name two dot PHP now you'll see that it has included that um, name dot uh, PHP which is this here which is just that h1 of Kevin W Tharp so uh, what we were able to do is give that uh, the equivalent of a root relative URL, but uh, this time the root that it was relative to was the server root rather than the website root. 